What is up YouTube? Today I am on a walk as you can see. I thought it was kind of nice. I was just walking. Got done with the uh, Instagram video and I saw this. I thought I might as well walk it because it's really nice. Look at this. So today's video is not about spontaneity. Maybe I'll keep hitting on that in all my videos since they all tend to be in random ass locations. Almost predicated by where I'm filming my Instagram reels for the day until I get a studio, which I can do if you guys support me by going to my website and uh, checking some of those things out. And then I've also been working on some artworks that will up be uploaded soon. I just got done with one today. So you guys can probably see the Instagram um, reel for whatever I ended up filming. But today I wanted to talk to you guys about brick and mortar versus online business. I think that as an artist, you should really be focusing on your online business 90% more than your brick and mortar. And I have five main reasons. So the first reason is inventory. If you're running an online business, you don't really have to deal with that much inventory compared to a brick and mortar, which you have to have one, a physical mm -hmm. location and two, have mm -hmm. physical products. An online business allows you to not really need either. You don't need either of those um, to have a functioning business. You can use um, certain websites which are print on demand. So as an artist, it's really powerful if you're able to use your own design skills to create your own merch. As you guys can see with my own store, you guys can go on there and see those sorts of designs that I have on my merch and realize that I just create the designs and then I send them to a manufacturer to create them and then they send those out to my customers for me. So I don't really have to worry about anything outside of just getting my customers um, orders to the manufacturer and then I make sure my manufacturer is really nice so they're able to take care of the customer's demands in a really good manner because they have a huge team and they have systems set in place that would take me way longer and would actually keep me away from my creative activities. So I actually don't see myself move away from this business structure for a long time because it's working. And if I can just keep coming up with new designs and new things to put up on my website, then my manufacturer really takes care of the rest of it. I don't have to worry about it. Whereas if you're creating everything, you need your tools, you need different sorts of systems in place. And this can get really headachey really fast. And I didn't even go that route, except with my prints. All my prints are done in house and I take care of those. But outside of that, I don't really see the need for an artist to go into a brick and mortar business. I chose an online business specifically because of its versatility and the fact that I can literally do my job from wherever I want. And I don't have to be in one, one space and be stuck and not have the ability to move around because I'm tied financially to a location and I'm tied physically to a location. I can just move around and film in different areas, upload from different areas, ship my products out from my manufacturer's facility that I don't manage they manage and they take care of a lot more adequately than i can and that way i'm free to basically just go wherever i want travel wherever i want and create um from whatever location that i have so it allows me a lot more freedom to not really think about the back end as much and i'm able to really focus and hone in on my content on my artworks and on the creative aspect of things so that's the second biggest reason the third biggest reason 
is the costs. It's actually so cheap to be an online business these days um, due to what I'm telling you guys about um, not being tied to a physical location, which you probably have to pay rent for unless you're doing it out of your parents' basement. And then I don't really know many people who would want to do that anyways, but the fact that you're not dealing with physical products helps a lot. And the fact that you don't have to pay for a location, it just keeps your costs super cheap and allows you a lot more freedom to um, purchase things for your creative endeavors or purchase different things like travel tickets, meal tickets. Um, and me personally, I value that a lot more. I, I would rather pay for an experience than pay for a physical product. The fourth reason for an online business rather than a brick and mortar is the eyes. So online, you actually are able to get hundreds of thousands of views on your content as opposed to if you're in a physical building, you're not able to get nearly as many views. There's not enough people or time in your small town to be able to scale your business up as much as you would like, as quickly as you would like. Sure, you're able to interact with people. And I'm not actually saying don't get a physical location, but I would very much rather if you're choosing between online and physical, go the online route. Now, there are a lot more reasons to go do an online business rather than a brick and mortar business, but my final reason is just for time. A brick and mortar, you're sort of tied to your business um, being open. You have to make time out of your day to go to your store, open it up, set it up, greet the customers, this, that, and the other. And it's not very scalable, whereas, uh, online business you allow yourself way more time because you can actually have an inventory of all of your content put it on a schedule to be released out into the public at certain points and then release it out to the public and that way you can take a day out of your week to schedule a bunch of posts and then for the rest of the week you don't really have to worry about it that way you're not really tied to a nine to five which is what we're trying to avoid at the end of the day right like i said i'm gonna go a lot more into different aspects of an online business here in the future so if you guys want to see that subscribe um or follow me on my social media channels like instagram x and join my online community on discord so that we can interact with one another with one another we can talk to each other share ideas get to know each other a little bit better and you guys can see from everything that I'm posting that I'm actually doing what I'm telling you guys that I'm doing. So those are free ways to support me and I would love it if you guys did any of those. If you drop a like that also would support me a lot just to show the algorithm that these videos are um, useful to you guys and it pushes it out to a lot more people that are able to use this information for themselves. And if you want to go ahead and support me so that eventually I can get a studio and make more processed videos, you can go to my website. Um, I have some merch on there that you guys can go ahead and buy or you can buy an artwork, whether it's original or print. Anything really helps me out a lot at this point. And I really appreciate all the support that I've been having so far. I feel that I started very small with literally zero subscribers, zero followers on everything last year and now i'm seeing a lot of you guys pop up and give me encouragement and a lot of you guys are following me along so i really appreciate that and i see all your guys's comments i see um that you guys are also working on your stuff and that's really inspiring for me and it pushes me to actually want to do more um, and it makes me want to help you guys out by putting out even more useful content that you guys can actually use for yourselves. So I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about online business or brick and mortar. Was there some things that I missed? Honestly, there might be. I would love to hear your guys' opinions in regards to that. And if you guys are already using some strategies or there's something that I might want to know, then feel free to comment that down below. I would love to read about it and learn um, a little bit more business myself. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Love you all. Bye.